Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. For the people who have already subscribed my channel and for the people who have recently found my channel, a hearty welcome to this channel. I am Yashwardhan, an electronic enthusiastic and electronic engineer who likes to work with the electronic circuits and explain about the different electronic components. Today, in this video, we will be discussing about how you can blink an LED with the help of an octocoupler IC. In general, whenever we, whenever we want to design any circuit that blinks an LED we generally, or flashes an LED, we generally, uh, in our minds, we get the idea of using the Arduino Uno or the similar microcontrollers if, we are, if someone is interested in both hardware and software. If the, if the person is only more interested in hardware, then they may use the common ICs like any triple five timer IC or the LN741 op, um, operation amplifier IC. But very few people have the knowledge that with the help of an octocoupler IC also we are able to do design that circuit. The, that is what we will be discussing today. The circuit which we will be using is this circuit here. In general, this resistance R1 and this resistance C and this capacitance C1 together forms an RC circuit pair which helps us to blink this LED. That is, whenever this capacitance is in the charging state, then the, then the current is flowing, then the current will flow normally to R1, then it will flow into the octocoupler IC which, uh, which, uh, which turns on this uh, IR emitter and due to which our, um, the phototransistor will be non set and the LED turns on and once this capacitance is, uh, reaches its 63% uh, of its maximum value it gets charged up to that value then it starts discharging whenever in the discharging cycle uh, the current will, never, uh, current will not flow to the octocoupler IC due to which LED turns off now friends if anyone is interested on knowing about how this octocoupler IC is working and what is its working principle I have made a detailed video on that topic already I keep the video link in the description below and also at the top of the i button please uh, watch that video so now let in order to get a further more clarity let us see the simulation of this in the circuit simulator applet now coming this is a circuit which I have already designed in the circuit simulator applet in order to simulate this here, a person may get a doubt that uh, uh, this assistance and capacitance are very easy to find in the draw. But where to find this octocoupler IC? You need to go to draw tool menu, go to active building blocks, and here you get the option to add an octocoupler to your circuit. So that's how it is happening. So as I have, uh, first let me reset it. Initially, uh, initially the LED is turned on, and again it turns on because now it now uh, you can observe the capacitance is in discharging range so it, no current is flowing through this octocoupler as a result of which uh, LED is not turning on I kept the simulation at uh, full speed so you, you can observe this very fastly now you will observe at some point of time when the capacitance uh, is completely discharged and whenever it is charging back you will observe LED turns on and once again it starts discharging the LED turns off let us move on to the simulation. Uh, uh, now I hope friends you will get a good clarity about the simulation. Now let us uh, go to the practical circuit and see how it is work. How you can design this on the breadboard. Let us move on to the practical setup. Now let us simulate the circuit physically. So in order to do this, we will be requiring a breadboard. An octocoupler IC, I will be using PC817IC. Then uh, an indicator LED, I will be using a green color LED, you can use any color LED of your choice. A capacitance, I will be using a 1000 microfarad capacitance. I uh, uh, As my resistance, I have taken a 5.6 kilo ohm resistance and a 1 kilo ohm resistance. Some connecting wires, a 9 volts battery to power the circuit and also a 9 volts battery clip. Now let us build this circuit. First, you connect your uh, octocoupler IC onto the breadboard like this okay here this uh, dot indicates that this is pin number one two and three and four now take the 5.6 kilo ohm resistor connect from pin number one to the 
positive terminal okay next connect take the capacitance and connect the positive end of the capacitance to pin number 3 and connect the negative end of this capacitance to your uh, to pin number 1 like this next take the 1 kilo ohm resistor and connect it from the pin number 3 to the ground pin next take the resistor I mean take the LED LED has two terminals uh, as all knows one is a longer lead which is the positive terminal the anode other is a shorter lead which is the cathode or the negative terminal connect the negative, uh, negative terminal of LED to pin number 4 of the octocoupler and connect the positive end to the positive rail now uh, take two wires and, con uh, and connect the both the rails that is positive to positive rail and negative rail to the negative rail and also connect the pin number 2 of the octocouple IC to the ground now let us power this circuit and observe so in order to power this circuit I will be using a 9 volts battery first of all you connect the positive terminal and then you connect your negative terminal ok now that now uh, this is the circuit you can observe the LED is turning on and turning off now if you want to uh, increase the duration by which the uh, LED turns on you need to change the value of this resistance and this capacitance and if anyone is using the same values of resistance and capacitance I recommend is that uh, you do not uh, whenever you are changing the value of capacitance using the 5.6 kilo ohm resistance I recommend you use a higher value of capacitance only this is because if you are using a lower value then the time constant will be in the mi milliseconds and microseconds which affects uh, uh, which uh, indirectly what it does is it turns continuous turns on off in our LED in a one second only we are getting multi -time, multiple time the LED turns on and off which damages the LED so you should always take care about the, how many times the LED is turning on and off for a second and for a second that's very important to understand so now I hope friends you have gained a good understanding about how to simulate this how to design a how to design an LED flashing circuit with the help of an octocoupler IC if you have any doubts related to this topic please feel free to comment that down below and also if you have any doubt in any part of the video please uh, uh, go pause the video go back to that part watch the part again and come back if you are still down you can ask me in the comment section below if you want me to do any video on any particular topic in electronics also please come uh, please keep in the comment section and i will make a video on that topic if you like my explanation please like this video share it with your friends and do subscribe my channel if you are new to this channel uh, new to this channel it helps our channel a lot and as i have in informed you already friends i have kept a, a community poll about what uh, what topic should i teach in the online class if anyone is interested please uh, um, keep your vote based on that i will arrange the classes thanks for watching watching friends and i hope you like my explanation and I, uh, if you have any suggestion on how, on how I can improve my content also, you can keep it in the, the description, uh, comment section below. Thanks for watching friends and I meet you again in a new video with a new concept. Until then, stay tuned to this channel and always try to learn something new. New. Thanks for watching friends and, I'm, and have a nice day.